Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Azure DevOps Services. I am Sasha Rosenbaum, a Senior Program Manager on the Azure DevOps team, and I unfortunately have no guests in the studio with me today. This video is dedicated to the new features that are coming out in the Sprint 159, which just finished rolling out to all of the organizations. So let's just get straight in. Um, one of the exciting new integrations that is coming out this sprint is the integration between Azure boards and Microsoft Teams. So if you're using Microsoft Teams, you're now going to be able to integrate between Teams channels and Azure boards. And you're going to be able to get updates uh, from boards and also create work items from the channel. So let's demo this real quick. If I am in the channel, the first thing I'm going to have to do is set up the Azure Boards integration with the application. But once I've done that, I can just tag Azure Boards and start typing. Once I get the chatbot, um, I can see what items are available to me in this integration. So the first thing I had to do is link this channel to an Azure Boards project. So you can link to multiple projects or select different channels to link to different projects. And then after that, I could also subscribe to particular types of notifications um, that are coming from this project. Since I've already done that, um, I'm just going to create a new work item right now. So I'm going to choose the type of the item that I'm creating. And then I'm going to type in a title. and a description. And you can see that the project is already selected for me. So now I'm going to click Create on this and click Send. Once I click on this link, you can see that I've created the work item in this project. Um, and it's been assigned the information that I just typed into Teams. I can also choose to make a change to this item and save the change. So I'm just assigning the item to myself. Now, if I head over to Teams, you can see that I have updated a product backlog item that we were just looking at. Um, so that's the integration with Azure Boards. Um, we also have an integration with Azure Repos, which has a similar setup um, into the channel. And so one of the things that you're able to get from the integration with the repos is updates on new pull requests. So to show this real quick, I'm going to head back to here um, and create a new pull request. So I'm going to select a, the branch that I want to create the pull request on um, and enter a title. Usually should be more meaningful than that, but this is what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to head back to Teams. And I can see that um, the Azure Repos application notified me on creating a new pull request and some information about the pull request and also the link back to it. Sometimes when we create pull requests, they are about changes to multiple files. And it can be very hard to keep track of what you have already reviewed and which versus what you haven't. So if I create a new pull request with, which has multiple files, you can see that now we're releasing a feature that allows you to mark an item as reviewed. So it creates a little checkbox over here. I can also mark another item as reviewed. And I can also unmark it if I'm not sure that the changes were correct. And so this is not meant as a voting feature. So the check marks are only visible to you. But this can help you keep track of um, reviewing changes to multiple files as pull requests. So this is all we have time for today. Um, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notifications for next videos. Um, and please head out to the release notes to read about more features that we have released. See you all next sprint.